In today's video, we're going to cover everything that you need to know about dropshipping versus print on demand. What's the difference? Which one is better? Which one is right for you? Make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because in it, I'm going to answer every one of these questions and more. And also make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to give you a little bonus there that's really going to help you bring these two together. And you printed all of it. Now, before we begin, let me know down in the comments below what you think of print on demand and what you think of dropshipping. Which one's your favorite? Which one do you think is better? Which one do you use? Which one are you thinking of starting? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, what is drop shipping and what is print on demand? So simply put, both of these are fulfillment business models where all you have to do is fulfill the order. So with drop shipping, let's say somebody places an order on your store for a pair of headphones. They make that purchase for $150. And instead of you going to your inventory, taking those headphones, packing them up, slapping a shipping label on them and sending them out, all you have to do is reroute your order to your supplier and they take care of all of that heavy work for you. You paid $50 for those headphones. So the remaining $100 are your profit. Now, what about print on demand? So what happens on print on demand is pretty much the exact same thing. Somebody's gonna place an order in your store for a particular t-shirt. They're gonna pay $25 for it. Then you're gonna go ahead and place that order with your supplier or with your printer, and you're gonna spend maybe about $7 for it. Your supplier is gonna take care of the entire production and fulfillment. So again, you don't really have to do much. The remaining $18 are your profit. Now, the biggest difference between drop shipping and print on demand is gonna be that drop shipping is primarily with certain types of items, trending items, things like headphones, dog toys, watches, furniture, office supply, tons of different electronics, pretty much any type of product you can drop ship. Now with print on demand, the biggest difference is you're gonna be printing your design on the actual product with print on demand. Now for the most part, one of the most popular items when it comes to print on demand are gonna be t-shirts, tumblers, pair of shorts, a blanket, a bath mat, things like that. Now these products are gonna have your own design on them. So you're gonna make a design, upload it to your print on demand supplier, and then they're gonna print it on the product before shipping it out. And that's pretty much it. Those are the two main differences between drop shipping and print on demand. Now you might hear the term print on demand drop shipping thrown around every so often. Let me go ahead and clear that up right now. There really is not much of a term as print on demand drop shipping. A lot of people associate print on demand with actually printing a particular product on demand. So let's say somebody places an order for me for a t-shirt and I use my own equipment to print that shirt myself. Some people confuse that as print on demand, which I can see why, because technically I'm getting an order and I'm printing it on demand, but the actual term print on demand does not reflect that type of printing or that type of business. The term print on demand is going to be used for the most part as an order fulfillment business model. So now you know that dropshipping and print on demand are pretty much their own business models. They're similar, but they have their key differences. So up until now, dropshippers and print on demand business owners have pretty much been at two completely opposite ends of the spectrum. They don't typically have much or anything to do with each other. But when you really think about it and you start getting down to the nitty gritty, both business models are extremely similar. The only biggest difference that I see is that print on demand is a bit more geared towards people who like to design or people who like to get creative, but those aren't always the most successful people in the business. As long as you know what the demographic of people that you're targeting wants and what they're interested in, then you can make sales regardless of the type of product. Look, with both of these business models, you're really not going to be fulfilling or doing much of anything once the order is placed. What you're going to be doing is simply rerouting that order unless your business is already automated, which in most cases for print on demand, it is. And if you're using the out of the S system, then chances are that your dropshipping business is automated as well. So that gives you a lot of time back that you can actually reinvest back into making more products and doing a bit more product research. So with dropshipping, you're going to be doing product research in terms of looking for different types of products that are currently trending. Now for this, you have tons of different sources that you can use to your advantage. For one, you have things like the sell these now playlist over at the auto DS YouTube channel. There we give you tons of winning products that you can sell each and every month. Aside from that, we also have different types of blog articles, our Instagram or TikTok channel. So we have tons of different resources all at your disposal. So that way you can use them to find some of the best products to drop ship. But those aren't the only ways that you can use. You also have things like social media. TikTok is extremely powerful. There you can find what's really trending and what people are looking for at that same exact moment. Now, when it comes to print on demand, product research is also somewhat similar, except the trends are going to be a little bit different. 
when it comes to product research for print on demand, for the most part, the main thing that you need to focus on is your design niche. You can also niche down for products, but it all starts at the top with designs. Regardless of what you go with, your design niche is gonna come first, and then you're gonna pick relevant products to go with that design niche. So you're not gonna be selling something like a personalized dog bowl if you're niching down to cars. It's just not gonna make sense. The, the design niche and the product don't necessarily go together. They don't really mix well. But if you're niching down to cars, then something like t-shirts or lanyards would go perfect. All right, what about money and profit margins? Well, when it comes to profit margins, dropshipping and print on demand can be kind of all over the place. It really depends on the types of products that you're selling and really how you're marketing them. So with dropshipping, you have some very generic items, some that you can sell for pretty cheap, but then you also have some really expensive items that you can sell, which is called high ticket dropshipping. So for things like that, you're gonna be selling pretty much some fancier items or some bigger ticket items, some bigger items like let's say furniture, some high-end jewelry, some pretty cool light fixtures. There's tons of different high-end products that you can dropship. Now on the opposite end of that spectrum, you have the lower ticket items or some very generic items like let's say a backcracker or a super bright flashlight. Well, these types of items typically are gonna be on the lower end. So depending on the product, again, you're probably gonna be making maybe five to $25 in profit. Again, this can vary wildly, but just to give you more or less of a ballpark general idea. Now, when it comes to print on demand, you are gonna have more stable profit margins, but they're not necessarily gonna be higher. So let's take for example, t-shirts. T-shirts, for the most part, depending on your supplier, you're gonna source them for about $7. Again, that really depends on how much you're printing. Are you printing on the front, the back, the type of shirt? And as far as selling it, for the most part, you're gonna be selling it between $20 and $25. Taking best practices into consideration, you're gonna be covering shipping and that's gonna run you about $5 as well. So in total, you're gonna be paying about $12 for your product. Let's say you sell it at $23, then you made about $11 in profit. Now, while that might not seem like a lot, you have to think about it this way. When it comes to print on demand, people are gonna be buying your items multiple times over. Now we can talk. So you're gonna have a lot of people that go into your store, whether that be your Etsy shop, eBay, or your Shopify store, and they're gonna purchase the same item over and over. Forever. So a lot of people are gonna purchase the same shirt. A lot of people are gonna purchase the same hoodie. A lot of people are gonna purchase the same bath mat. Now, different types of products are gonna have different profit margins. So in my opinion, one of the most profitable ones is always gonna be hoodies. Hoodies, depending on the hoodie itself, you're gonna source between maybe 15 to about $25, and you can easily sell those for about 45 or $60. So the profit margin there is gonna be a little bit higher than let's say your typical t-shirt. And like I mentioned earlier, it also depends on your branding. When it comes to drop shipping, if you start your own line of products using dropship products, then you can charge a little bit more. People typically are willing to pay more for a branded product. Same thing goes for print on demand. A lot of people start generic print on demand stores where they have a little bit of everything, but then there's other people that really niche down and they start a brand on, let's say, hustling, or they start a brand based around animals. So let's say you start a brand called Hustle Incorporated, and in it you have different types of hoodies along with t-shirts and maybe some hats. They're all being sold under your brand name, Hustle Incorporated, and they all have relevant designs regarding to the hustle, getting money, getting paid, entrepreneurship, things like that. You're gonna be able to charge a lot more for let's say a hoodie than you would if you're doing generic products. So as your own brand, you're easily gonna be able to charge about $60 for a hoodie. Whereas with more generic designs or a generic store, you're gonna be charging a lot less. So let's say maybe 30 to $35. Again, it really depends on how you market your products and the product itself, but just to give you a general idea. Now, when it comes to the actual sheer number of items, you're gonna have a lot more options to choose from when it comes to drop shipping. With drop shipping, like I said, you have access to pretty much any item imaginable. With print on demand, you're gonna be a lot more limited. So there's only certain products that can actually be printed on. Just to give you an idea, Let's say with drop shipping, you have access to tens of thousands of different items. With print on demand, you're gonna have access to maybe about a thousand or a little bit more. So you are gonna be a lot more limited with your print on demand items versus your drop shipping items, but you are gonna have the ability to customize them. So as I mentioned earlier, that's the key difference between the two business models. With print on demand, you can customize your items. Now that's not to say with drop shipping, you can't do the same. So for the most part, when it comes to drop shipping, a lot of the time it is gonna be generic items or unbranded items. But if you have a supplier that supports white label drop shipping, 
then you can actually brand those items yourself. So working with a supplier that offers white label dropshipping, you can start your own brand in terms of the packaging, in terms of the branding, the colors, and sometimes even product customizability. So the packaging, you can customize the entire way around. You can make it packaged exactly how you want. If you're automating your dropshipping business through AutoDS, you can sometimes include a custom thank you card. So even though you can't fully print an entire design on your products with dropshipping, you can still customize them and you can still brand them to your liking. Now, one of the last things that I'm going to touch on is going to be shipping. So shipping speeds, as we know, is extremely crucial. We live in the day of Amazon where people want their packages literally tomorrow. Tomorrow. But obviously not everyone is Amazon and customers understand that, which, you know, it's good. But that doesn't mean that they're trying to wait an entire month for the products either. So with dropshipping, you have some really fast shipping speeds along with some really slow shipping speeds. This is all really gonna depend on your supplier and how long it takes for them to actually get out your item. It's also gonna depend on where your supplier is located. So with drop shipping, you can have either one supplier that's located in China and you're gonna have probably one to two month shipping speeds. And that's no good, people are not gonna like that. But if you look through websites like let's say AliExpress or CJ Dropshipping, then you're going to be able to find suppliers that can actually fulfill your orders within two weeks. And that's perfectly acceptable. People are willing to wait about two weeks for their product. That's that's fine. Some might even be able to get it to your customers even quicker. It's all about partnering up with the right supplier and making sure that they actually have quick shipping speeds. It's also really important to work with a supplier that has multiple warehouses, not just in a particular region, but around the entire world. So that way it doesn't matter where you're drop shipping, whether it be in the US or in the UK, your customers are going to get their products in a timely manner. Now, when it comes to print on demand, print on demand actually has some pretty stable and quick shipping speeds. Typically, you can expect for your item to reach your customer in between about two to seven or nine business days. This is really going to depend on your print on demand provider and the product that's being sold. But for the most part, that's going to be the average shipping speed. Now, as I mentioned earlier, up until now, drop shipping and print on demand have been two completely separate business models that pretty much have nothing to do with each other, despite all of their similarities. But everything is about to change right now. So for those people that are actually wanting to dip their toes into both business models, because you can see the advantage that both of them have and how well they can actually work together, then just make sure you're sitting down because your mind is about to be blown. So AutoDS finally implemented their print on demand section. So now you have access to drop shipping products as well as print on demand products. So just to give you a quick look, right now we're looking through the marketplace over at the AutoDS platform. And as you can see, there's tons of different products all relevant to today's market. So all of these are trending right now. These are all things that people are currently looking for. So as you can see, a lot of these are actually Valentine's Day themed. But aside from that, let's take a look now to print on demand section. So on here, as you can see, there's tons of different items as well. You have your generic shirts, hoodies, and onesies, but then you also have a lot more items that you can choose from. So you have things like accessories for phone cases, sandals, cups, home and living for customizable home goods, and a lot more. Now, one of the biggest benefits to using AutoDS for both your dropshipping and your print on demand business is the fact that everything is gonna be automated and it's all gonna be done through one system, through AutoDS. So if any orders come in for your dropshipping store, then that's all going to be automatically rerouted to your suppliers. For your print on demand store, same thing. It's all going to be automatically rerouted. Now, if you really want to get creative and scale, then you can start mixing your drop shipping and your print on demand business. So just to give you an example, going back to pets, you can do relevant print on demand items for pets. So let's say you can do a bath mat. You can actually print that with a dog design on it or something that's pet friendly and then market that as a pet bed or just simply a mat for pets. Aside from that, though, then you can also go to the marketplace and then you can start looking for other products that are relevant to pets as well. So let's say a portable dog water bottle. There you already have two products that are relevant to each other, but also pretty different in the type of product that they are. So you have your print on demand product and your dropship product, both of which are relevant to your pet niche, but fulfilled in two completely different ways. Now, if I had to choose between print on demand and drop shipping, which one would I go with? Well, Personally, I mean, I like both, so I would probably end up going with AutoDS and taking advantage of the fact that I can actually use both for my business. But realistically speaking, you can't really choose one. You can't say one is better than the other because it's all really going to be dependent on you. So some people have success with dropshipping. Some people have success with print on demand. Some people have success with both. It's really all going to depend on your preference and what you like to do. Which one of these sounds more appealing? Do you like to design t-shirts? Do you like to design cups? Do you like to design products? 
or do you prefer to just look for products and then offer those products? At the end of the day, this one is really hard. This is going to be one that's really going to be entirely up to you and the type of business that you're most comfortable with. Now that was print on demand versus drop shipping. So let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Do you like print on demand? Do you like drop shipping? Which one do you plan on starting? Which one have you started? Are you doing both? Which one do you like more? Let me know down in the comments below. I want to hear all of your thoughts on this. Huge thank you to for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you did make it this far, then that means that you obviously enjoyed this video. So make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you to everyone once again for watching. And with that, catch you all next time.